Hey guys, welcome to Riva Academy and in this tutorial we are going to look at linear gradient in Flutter. So we started by creating a new project in Visual Studio Code and in the default application created I will remove these extra comments and this title parameter and I will also remove these two classes so that we can start with a clean slate. I will create a stateless widget by the name my home page and instead of container I will make it written scaffold and quickly add the app bar and the title text to this app bar okay say gradient demo and run this in emulator okay so now you can see that this is nicely running okay we will start by adding the body okay we will add the body to the scaffold and add the container okay so to use the linear gradient we have to use the decoration property of the container okay so we will specify decoration and box decoration okay inside this we get a parameter for gradient okay so inside the box decoration we will use gradient and the linear gradient okay now we have to specify the array of colors right at least we have to specify two colors to to get the gradient effect okay so i will specify colors dot pink and colors dot blue okay you can specify more than two colors also okay so now when i save and hot reload you can see that this is a nice gradient okay appearing on our screen right now you can customize this gradient as per your requirements for example the uh, it has this stops property okay so using the values we can control how much fraction of each colors okay are there in the gradient for example if i say 0.9 and 1 you can see that pink has acquired the maximum color in the gradient while blue is very small okay you can control this values by changing the values in the stops array okay you can play around and check which suits your requirements okay if you want you can add more than three colors in the array more than two colors okay so i'm adding the third color green but whenever i add more colors in the colors array we have to make sure that we make we have to add a corresponding value in the stops array okay now you can see that the that this is appearing okay so how many number of colors we add in the colors array we have to add its corresponding values in the stops array okay and you can change and play around to check which suits your requirements okay there is also this begin property okay where we can specify from where the gradient starts okay for example i've given here top left okay you can specify this values in numbers also okay you can use this predefined alignment dot okay or else you can specify in numbers also okay you can play around these values to see which one suits your best okay and also there is similarly there is the end property okay you can set around okay so as per the values given in the stops array this colors will be set accordingly okay so this was a small quick example of using linear gradient in your flutter application i hope you liked this video and if you really did please share it with your friends who are also learning flutter thank you so much for watching